This is an ASCII projection of a 4D hypercube, also known as a tesseract. I wrote a simple C program to generate this, which I highly encourage you to look at and mess around with. I will provide links to the source code as always. If you don't know what's going on here, basically what you're seeing is a projection of the four-dimensional equivalent of a cube. The projection of this hypercube is similar to a projection of a 3D cube onto a 2D surface, but instead we're projecting a 4D cube into 3D space. We then take that 3D projection and project it to the 2D screen in ASCII. This explains why it looks like there's an inner cube and an outer cube, with the inner cube constantly stretching to become the outer cube. What's actually happening is that the hypercube is rotating in 4D, and since the sides of a hypercube are each 3D cubes, what looks like the smaller inner cube is just the side of the hypercube that's farthest away in 4D. You can see the same exact phenomenon when a 3D cube is projected onto a 2D surface. The side that's farthest away looks like it's inside of the front face, and when you rotate the cube, it looks like the smaller face is becoming the larger face. Since you're a 3D being, you understand 3D perspective and know that the back side of the cube isn't actually inside of the front side. And for the same exact reason, the back side of the hypercube isn't inside of the front side, it's just a matter of 4D perspective. The code from this demo is all based on a paper from 1991, which I will also provide a link to, and I recommend you check it out if you want to make your own 4D project, as long as you're willing to put up with the archaic coding style of the early 90s. What's cool about this method is that once you've projected the hypercube into 3D space, you can then rotate that 3D projection separately to get a better understanding of what's going on. This is just a small fun project I decided to make for a quick video. I haven't uploaded in a while since I've been busy working on a much more ambitious project, which I'll eventually make a video on. Since I'm so busy working on that project, I didn't spend that much time editing this video. My next project will definitely be worth the wait, so please stay tuned.